Hey, wait, what? Spirits now deal more damage the closer Death Prophet is to the target? Yeah, and the return need to run back to the target again. I mean, I thought it was kind of like that, but I guess maybe it wasn't. Mm, I mean, it used to hit more frequently. Yeah. But now it also deals more damage? I don't understand. Like, that's is that a fucking insane buff? I don't know, actually. It didn't. It, I it, thought it used to be kind of like that, but I'm not sure. Maybe. I mean, when you run into a hero yeah. with exorcism, you your exorcism takes less time to go back and forth, you know? So yeah. you deal more damage. But now it straight up deals more damage also. Yeah. It's less frequent, someone's saying, and some people are saying it's buff. So I guess it remains to be seen. We'll see what happens. Remains to be seen, but... Oh, new shard just... on Disruptor, though. This is good. Yeah, we'll see. I, I'm assu I don't want to assume yet. I'd have to try it, I guess. Wait, let's back up. Back it up. Aghanim shard reworked. When cast on ground, Thunderstrike now lies dormant for up to 5 seconds. If enemy comes within the range during that time, Thunderstrike attaches to it. If no enemy comes in range, it strikes the ground. Aghanim shard also increases the number of strikes by 2. Okay, so you can like farm with it now, and also uh, you can like maybe AoE it on enemies. I think it only hits one guy though. So it's strange. That's boring. Yeah, it doesn't sound that cool at all. But you can farm with it though, it looks like. Minimum damage. Okay, disrupt glimpse. Oh my god, it's so little nerf, dude. Minimum it's damage. So little nerf. It's like slightly less, like 25 instead of 50, but max damage is just increased by 25 also? That's nothing, dude. It's I feel nothing. like that's nothing. Glimpse is it's broken. Not. And kinetic field, cooldown increased by one second. Yeah, whatever, dude. Uh, this, is, this hero is still broken, for sure. Uh, Doom, Infernal Blade, they nerfed the shard, of course. Scepter Radius decreased a little bit. Still kind of broken hero, I think. Nothing really ah, changed. Still best hero. Yeah, maybe, maybe literally the best. Uh, strength gain. I mean, I'm sure Clinks might be the best hero. We don't know yet. That hero looked weird. <laughs> might also be the worst. Yeah. You never. It's D always. DK is not being nerfed. Okay. He's getting more strength gain, and while in dragon form, applies corrosive breath or frostbite effect to the current it's form. Not a big deal, but you know, it's just there. Well, bro, it matters though. Fuck. It applies to everything. Does it splash? No, it doesn't splash. That's insane. Well, DK is definitely not nerfed. I mean, the stun is nerfed, nerfed like everything else. But... I mean, like everything else, but not nerfed. Yeah, that's, that's sure. surprising. I mean, we don't see a lot of hero nerfs. A lot of changes, but not a lot of nerfs. I think, we'll, I think they're waiting to see, and they're probably going to release a small patch in a few days. Or a yeah, week or so. Sure. Hypothermia effects now grant an Aghanim Scepter instead of Aghanim Shard. Oh. Hypothermia Big bonus nerf. damage. Per... Yeah, it's a huge... Now that's a nerf. <laughs> Uh, damage per stack increased from 5 to 15, though. And max stacks increased from 7 to 9. Region reduction per stack. So it's more damage, but it's definitely a nerf. But you'll never buy that item, I think. I think, I think so. It's too expensive <laughs> for Drow. New shard, though. Creates a hill of ice beneath her. Beneath her, uh, pushing enemies away from it. Any unit that stands on the hill gains 175 boss attack range and high ground advantage. They cannot miss and gain flying vision. Ayo. Hey, the front of the hill obscures vision and cannot be moved through. Wait, so you just you become a tower <laughs> or something that like that you can't see, and then I think any I mean, unit that stands on the hill, so people can also stand on it. No, everybody can go on it. I'm testing it right now. It looks so stupid. It looks stupid. It looks so super stupid. It's kind of really yeah. And yeah, no, I'll try some. Uh, should I try? It? You guys want me to try it? I can try it. Let's see. No, you should try it. You should try it. Yeah, like... it's, it's, this this sounds weird. I can't imagine it right now. No, it looks motherfucking stupid, man. I'm let's just see what it looks like, saying. guys. Let's see what it looks like. I haven't tried anything yet, so let's try this one. Shard. What is this? I can move down it? Okay, so it's like a little hill. <laughs> Wait, let's make another hill. Uh, you're not uh, streaming, right? Like, the game? Oh, not to you. Sorry, not to you. I'm streaming on my... No, no, no. Are you streaming it to the, to the people? To the people? The people are seeing it, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so don't, but they don't see me on this cliff, right? That's the thing. I'm like hidden here. They have to walk up to see me. That's the trick, right? Because it says it I obscures mean, vision. The front of the hill obscures vision. So if the, if I'm facing towards them, they can't see me. I mean, you can't walk from the front. Yeah, yeah. but they can't and even it's see me. Blocking vision. Yeah. They can't see you either. Yeah, yeah this. That's but huge. they know you're up there. <laughs> they know. They, they know. It's a fucking they hill. They fucking know, man. They fucking know. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, let's see our spirit. Aghanim shard upgrade removed. Now gains one extra stone remnant. 
uh, for fifth hero level. Uh, okay, <laughs> sure. Okay. Now deals more damage impact. against. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a lot of stones. Stun duration increased. Rock bonus duration now upgradable by shard can target allies. Well, that's kind of concerning. So it's a really cheap save now, actually, right? Oh, back to geomagnetic grip. Yeah. Okay. They brought they brought it with shard. With shard, you need shard. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty easy to get, so it's pretty buff, pretty buffed, I think. Earthshaker stun duration decreased, of course. Rescaled here as well. Just no change. Faith help, health regen. Base armor increased by one. Wait, what? Three more days to be free. But why? Puppy, isn't Ember strong? Am I he crazy? Is strong. He's stronger now. <laughs> Based armor. There you go. Enchantress. Uh -huh. Increase shard, and uh, this is for your puppy. Now increases a maximum number of enchanting units from one to two. So they changed the shard. They were done with the little friends. Little friends was stupid anyway. Yeah. Now you get two units, which doesn't stop, sound. Stop saying it's something for me every time I hear it. It's for I play. you, puppy, Chen, and so Treacherous. It's, it's, it's <laughs> really disrespectful, honestly. Like, like I'm. <laughs> Oh, you're, uh, you're I'm, such gonna, a... I'm gonna cancel you, man. You're, you're, you're like super. I just know you're kind of into this Ench type of girl, you know. So I'm, that's why. Got you. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Be careful now. <laughs> Duration decreased on Bash. Oh, Chrono is kind of long still, though, actually. So, you know, can't stun people, can stun Chrono, then pretty much the same duration, though. Now freezes ability and item cooldowns of anybody trapped in Chronosphere. Hold up. It's like a dilate on everybody. Now prolongs duration of time duration for units trapped in Chronosphere as well. Oh my god. I think that's pretty nasty. It is nasty. This spell is the best spell in Dota now. Everyone. It's so nasty. What the fuck? Built-in time dilation. Why would you even... You don't even have to skill time dilation. I mean, you can, but I'm just saying. Like, so good. Alright, less stun, movement speed bonus, uh, blah blah. Illusion is now a strong illusion, you can't hex it. It, was, it wasn't was strong before? I think it was, but it was magic immune, I don't know. Spell immunity replaced with debuff immunity. Oh, that's why. 95% magic resistance. So it's kind of the new BKB change. They removed BKB, but it gave it strong mm -hmm. illusion. Mm -hmm. Gyro chopper. Uh, lower this, lower stun duration. Cooldown increased. Shard, yeah, shard buffed. Black, duration increased, and max attacks increased by one. That's quite a quite a decent buff, I think. Still kind of shit, I think, but he might be okay. The carry gyro is buffed a little bit. Sound duration on Hood the Winkle Bushwhack removed, the decoy, blah blah blah. Agnum Shard no longer allows to be cast inner fire while disabled. What the fuck does it do then? Thank god. What does it do? Uh, Lower cooldown? What does it do now actually? Heals? It does something. <laughs> I thought that was the entire shard. I thought that was the entire shard too, kinda. Oh. It's, uh... Yeah, the heal part was definitely the shard. Yeah. I think and it's healed movement, then. Movement slow. Mm. There's a movement speed slow. Yeah. But that's fucking super nothing. You really didn't care about that. Maybe a little bit for the heal, but not the movement speed Oh, this slow. is big. You can interrupt his leap now. Debuff immunity. Actually, I don't know if you can. I have no idea. <laughs> I'll try it. Yeah, it's worth trying, I guess. Full snap ner nerfed, Agnum Shard removed, effect moved to level 20 talent. So you're getting a triple tornado, a triple meatball, but you can't have 80% more meteor damage. So they completely removed that busted talent. That's huge. That's honestly huge. Now upgraded shard. Multiple burn multiples burn damage by 1.5x and makes it pull enemy users into a center. Okay, so it's like a sucking black hole type of thing. EMP. I was universal. With Aghanim Scepter, the ability cannot be activated and explode the spirits. After some spawning, cooldown decreased. Alright, alright. Try it. I, mean, I kind of want to try it. The black hole invoker, guys. We just oh. try it. Okay. Yeah, so you on. can be stunned on Huskar. You can be. So when, the debuff you, immunity doesn't mean stun? Yeah, you're, you can, you're literally going in, but you're getting stunned while you're going in. <laughs> Shit, how do I make EMP? It's just this, right? I don't know how to make EMP. <laughs> don't judge me, dude. Don't judge me. I don't play this hero. Alright, here we go. Well, let's see the black hole. Oh my god, what am I- Okay, they can just run away. It's really slow. Oh my god, it's a black hole. What would we possibly do? Okay, we'll run away. I mean, I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure it's okay. 
It makes the mana burn harder too, so it's it's better. I think it's better. Uh, Jakiro maxed on duration, decreased. Burn damage increased. I'll keep myself in demo mode to see if I want to try something else soon though. 25% uh, damage versus building? What the fuck? Penalty, penalty. So it's just a penalty. Okay, so it's only minus 25. Yeah, it's not that bad. I think it's pretty okay, good. So, but but that's a lot of damage on liquid fire. That's true. Yeah. I think it... core, core Jakiro might start coming back again. Core Jakiro? Okay. Uh, 45 damage, dude. What the fuck are you going to be? I mean, annoyed? that is a lot. That is a lot. For a free spell at that as well. Uh, yeah, and also the attack range, so. Yeah. Damage per second. It's not huge changes to him, though, I would say. Unless something happens in talents. Not really. Juggernaut. Base damage increased by one. This is for me, puppy. This is for me. Dude, embodied. Base damage increased by one. Uh, spell uh -oh. immunity replaced with deep immunity. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't like this already. I don't Debuff like it. immunity, though. I don't know what that means, but we'll see, I guess. Cooldown decreased by 10. Swift Slash is better. Okay, but I mean, it's buffed, I guess, I would say. I mean, I don't know, this is always a nerf, but... Now a basic ability that doesn't require spirit form. Damage increased. Okay, so this is a new ability. Just Blinding Light, sure. Solar Bind is now spirit form instead. Okay. Dude, what the fuck happened to Dota, actually? I'm, I'm like... <laughs> this is bad. What do you mean, puppy? I'm gonna show you. Is this an existential speech? Back in my days. <laughs> no, 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 no. Go, go to Dota right now. Alright. And go to Dota, create, like, a shaker, and create a juggernaut. In a demo mode? Yeah, in demo mode. This no, in motherfucking paint. Mars. I mean, you know... Let me guess. You consider yourself a child of good. Start drawing, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Shaker and all. <laughs> okay, Shaker and Jugger, right? And, uh, like, just spin with Juggernaut. Jug and... enemy, okay. Yeah, I mean, they're opposite yeah. teams, there. Yeah. Uh, and then just stun at the end of his spin. Put them all max levels too, so you can have them max <laughs> Fuck, I'm just... Yeah, yeah, I gotta max it up. Okay, just at the end of spin. Like, when he's starting to end the spin, you know? Okay, yeah. Okay, so he's stunned after. Yeah, that, that's the new yeah, BKB. The end, in the end of spin. So, it, so if you stun somebody before the thing ends, you can chain it. They're, right? they're literally stunned. You, you, you will always get the stun. Also. Yeah, you will always get the stun. They stun like a little bit. There, yeah. no... Oh, it's, so... it's huge. It's it's that's weird. So fucked up, it's the new BKB change, right? The same with BKB, I think. By BKB, that's not at the end of BKB. It's weird. I don't know what to think about it. It's like yeah, I don't I don't really know what to think about it either. Like, you don't even uh... have to time it anymore. You're like ah, whatever, he's done soon. <laughs> so, you know, it is fucking stun. I don't know. It's it's weird. All right, I don't know. I 